I've been waiting to share this with you. I promised Andrew I wouldn't release it until after his video was up. Although I'm familiar with this machine, this was the first time I ever operated it. This past year I got the chance to get to know one of my favorite YouTubers. Being part of this dig project, it was pretty cool. Let me tell you, I had some highs and lows. From spending the night at the top of the container castle, to being overtired and overlooking a clearance issue that almost cost Andrew 40 grand. Talk about a crappy feeling. But I kept my cool, kept working, things worked out in the end. I've been waiting to share this with you. It's not every day you get to meet, let alone hang out with someone like Andrew Camerata. Waking up at the top of the castle is pretty sweet. It was also surreal looking at the amount of welding he's done on the roof of that thing. I mean, that guy likes to work, and I got to see it firsthand. So this is my compilation of footage. I'm going to help him dig out the corner. I hope you enjoy it. Alright guys. We are driving up to see Andrew right now. Uh, we're about 10 minutes away. I'm starting to notice some familiar scenery, specifically the uh, mountains above me. I am a little nervous. I did ask Andrew if I could make a video about meeting him. He said it was fine. Um, I don't know if I should just record. I don't really don't want to really just like show up recording. And I feel like that's rude. So I'll probably shut the camera off introduce myself talk with him for a bit and then I'll pull out the, the camera and continue to do some recording <laughs> this is this is weird man I feel like I'm I feel like I'm like fangirling Three quarters of a mile. Keep left. Uh, yeah I don't know there's always like a little bit of anxiety when you're meeting somebody that you look up to you know that you know quite a bit about they don't know anything about you really I mean, well, I shouldn't say that. We've been talking for a while, but still, you know, I've watched hours and hours of his videos, and I don't think he's watched any hours of mine. No. So, ah, oh, dude, there it is, dude. Holy sh, dude. <laughs> dude, he was jumping the truck down that hill, like, damn, dude. No, this is this is weird. This is weird. I'm here though. Coming up on Andrew's uh Andrew's castle. Let me tell you what, this is crazy. Alright, I'm gonna shut this off. So here's the first day I ever met Andrew Camerata. This was uh, early May 2021. I happened to be going to New York to, for another errand and uh, I messaged him and asked if I could come by and he said yes. So when I showed up he was actually working on a video uh, fixing his trailer brakes so I kind of just hung out in the background and took some shots. Now, I get asked this a lot and you might be wondering well how does some random dude get invited to the camera at a castle and just get to hang out and take video of Andrew while he's working. 
Well, the answer is, I'm not just some random dude, actually. If you look at the sweater that he's wearing, I drew that. local company that reached out to me a few times they wanted to and they specialized in like trailer diagnostic stuff I should almost look at their catalog again one they, guy was telling me he's like because even when I put brand new electric brakes on the uh, 12 ton they were they worked but they were I, I don't know why there were so many advocates for electric brakes in that last video <laughs> electric I mean they can work this this actually had really strong brakes when I first set it up I did a really good job routing these wires. I don't see any damage to wires at all, so it's like they didn't lose their, their, their you know, the, the wires are good. It's so it's, all right, I, I guess we should, uh, I guess this isn't a right now project. So. It was pretty fun watching him diagnose the trailer and make a video at the same time. But the next project actually was getting some photos of him and the dogs. So he moved the trailer out from in front of the castle because that's what we were going to use for a backdrop. So while we were taking these photos, Cody was running around on the hill by the corner there coming down from the hot tub, and Andrew mentioned that he'd like to dig the corner out because he plans on expanding his garage, and he asked me if I could run a front end loader, which I can. So we got started on the dig. So this is where things got pretty exciting for me. Not only am I hanging out with Andrew Camerata, I'm running a piece of his machinery, working with him digging out the hill. 
Andrew would make piles with a track loader. I'd scoop them up, drop them off the embankment on the other side of the driveway. It's like a good 30 or 40 foot drop on the other side of that drop off. Man, we dug at this hill for a solid four or five hours until it got dark. And then I had to go home because I had to return my rental car the next morning. Well, all right, guys. I'm uh, headed back home now. Had a great time meeting Andrew. Hung out. Scared the shit out of me on the KRX. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. Uh, went out to lunch. See what else. We took a whole bunch of photos, worked on his trailer brakes, and then uh, to top it off, I got to get to play real life Tonka trucks. Well, uh, he dug into the side of the mountain there. I helped him scooping it out with the uh, front end loader. Pretty good time. I had a blast. I'm uh, about five hours from home now, I guess. A little over five hours. A little under five hours. So, I gotta poop. I'm gonna haul ass home. Hopefully I can hold it until I get to my toilet and uh, wish me luck.